from Hollywood. It's the Tom Likas Show. I have eaten some mushrooms. And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. The Christmas shopping season has begun. And the predictions I have heard are that we're going to be at the low end of the forecast for spending during the holiday season. The low end. People are cutting back in ways we never imagined. Because this is the worst economy of our lifetime. Really, honestly. Unless you live through the Great Depression. In which case, you're not listening to this show anyway. Moves a little too fast for you, right, Grandpa? Yes, it does. But uh, this is the worst economy we've seen in our lifetime. The worst. Did I see now the Coldstone Creamery? Not going out of business, but closing down a bunch of locations. Every day there's another name, another name on the list. Uh, but people are cutting back. Black Friday had uh, good sales, but uh, even Black Friday was not as good as they expected. That was with huge discounts. Huge discounts. And now, uh, of course, uh, you read the story about uh, Walmart the other day in Valley Stream, Long Island. They advertised the usual collection of $59 DVD players or whatever, and they uh, opened the doors, and people stampeded right over the security guard. Killed them dead. That's pretty amazing. So, um, people are desperate for a bargain. People are cutting back. Retail sales are off. And you have to wonder how we're cutting back and who we're cutting out. I mean, who are we not giving Christmas gifts to this year that we used to give them to? You know, that's one of the ways we're going to be cutting back in a big way. Big way. You know, some people have, you know, 200 first cousins and 426 nieces and nephews, okay? Let's say your family comes from one of those agrarian societies where people just spit out children like you spit out gum. You know, you just have all these kids in the family. And there are some people who are saying, you know what, the nieces and nephews. We're going to limit it to the nieces and nephews we see regularly. Or we get limited to nieces and nephews of a certain age, like only the babies, only the little kids. Well, the people just say, forget it. I'm not buying any Christmas gifts for anybody. Now, I'm wondering uh, what your decision is going to be regarding this. How are you going to cut back on your Christmas shopping? Uh, this is a decision people are making right now. I mean, there are people listening to the sound of my voice who are driving to the mall as we speak. And they've got serious retail decisions to make. Are you going to cut down on the value of the gift, the cost of the gift? Are you cutting down the number of people who are getting gifts? Are you going to not give gifts for any to anybody? Are you going to make handmade gifts? I'll just make cupcakes for everybody. I'll give everybody cupcakes. I mean, are you doing things like that? I want to talk to the people who are cutting it to the bone. As you're going out holiday shopping, are you cutting your shopping to the bone? Who's getting cut out? Who's getting nothing? Who's getting less than they used to get? How are you cutting? What are you cutting? I want to find out how you're cutting back. Clearly, if retail sales are down, that means somebody's not getting Christmas presents this year. Hey, finally, are you cutting back on your own kids? I mean, have you uh, told your kids, for example, that, uh, you know, you know the old one, Santa Claus committed suicide this year. Up oh, there he goes. <laughs> I mean, are you cutting back on what you're getting your own children? Have you made up a story? Santa Claus has a strike. Santa Claus has had layoffs. Santa Claus has had to achieve efficiencies. <laughs> Santa Claus is voice tracking. You know what I'm talking about. 
Maybe not that last one. But I'm wondering how many of you are cutting back on your own kids. I'll bet a lot of people are cutting back on their own kids. What would your kids have gotten a year ago? What are they getting now? I've got to know. Tom, 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom, 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. How are you coming back for the holidays? I want to know. 1-800-5800-866 is our telephone number. It's Aaron on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. Well, uh, we got about 45, 46 first cousins, and uh, we're tired of this spending $300 every year and deciding who we're going to buy for or who we're not. <laughs> So uh, this Thanksgiving, we just put everybody's name in a hat. You pick one person, and that's the only person you buy for. No exceptions. Wow. All yeah, right. I mean, well, well, we, who, who can afford to spend three, four hundred dollars, and then you got to then you deal with all the problems of who you picked and who you didn't, and why'd you buy me a present? Why didn't you buy her a present? And all that. So figured, heck, just throw everybody's name in the pot, and whoever you get, you buy for it, and you don't buy for anybody else. Now, did everybody uh, sign off on this, or were there people who were upset? Well, we we used to do it a while back, and then uh, they stopped doing it, and they decided, hey, let's start this up again, and uh, cutting down costs probably. And there's about a twenty five thirty dollar limit. They said send somewhere around twenty five thirty dollars, and so you're you're doing ten percent of what you were doing last year and the year before. Wow. Yeah. All right. I know people are going to cut back somewhere. That's how this is going to happen. Art on the top like his show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? It's going okay. Hey, Todd, just want a quick comment. I'm single, and I, I get stuck every year buying presents for nieces, nephews, cousins, cousins' kids. And this year we said, you know what, we're doing a gift exchange, you know, $100 limit, everybody's name goes in the box, you know, doing it with family and doing it with friends. Wow. It sounds like uh, the first two people now, that's the same deal. If it's going to kind of, kind of be potluck or luck of the draw or everyone's not getting, only the people who get chosen? Well, pretty much everybody who's coming over for family dinner, for Christmas dinner, will be involved in the, in the exchange. And uh, that's how we're going to do it this year. All right. Uh, thank you for that. Armando on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hi. Tom, it's very simple. My wife and my two kids, we're heading out to Sedona. We're leaving the 22nd, coming back to 29th. Nobody gets anything. Really? It's, uh, very basic, very simple. Take my top hole, drive it up, and we're done. That's it. Everybody knows we're going out of town. We've been planning for two months, and my wife agreed, and my kids will get a little something, and that's it. Wow. No coworkers, no uncles, no aunts, no grandmothers, no moms. Just my kids and my wife get a little gift, and we get a nice little road trip. Now, let me ask you a question. Uh, what will Christmas morning be like for you, or Christmas Eve in a hotel? Well, Tom, I'll tell you this much. As long as I have my two kids and my wife, I'm all good. We'll have a nice little uh, dinner the night before, and then in the morning we'll have a nice little breakfast, enjoy the weather, and we'll be all good. On the 29th, we come back. Get ready for New Year's Eve, and uh, that's a whole different story. Now, you understand that, uh, first of all, Sedona, a place I've been many times, probably kind of chilly on Christmas morning. You, you know what? My my buddy told me that, and I, I acknowledge that. But, uh, hey, if it's going to save me some bucks, I'll, I'll, I'll weather even the, the, the worst of storms. Now, have you in the past had a Christmas tree, presents under the tree, a traditional yeah. Christmas? Yes. You have. And how do the kids feel about this? Well, you know, it's a three-year-old and a five-year-old, and uh, I'm pretty sure the three-year-old and the five-year-old will, will, will notice that, and we'll just uh, do a little uh, verbal judo and explain to them that we're on a family trip. Okay. Blow me up, Tom. There you go, Armando. one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. Adrian on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, how are you, buddy? Doing great. 
Right on. Yeah, I'm pretty much in the same boat um, as everybody else. It seems like uh, my family, we sat down, had a meeting, and decided everyone's going to pull a name from a hat. And that one name is the one person that you gift. And it's not even going to be like a like a gift from somewhere where you go buy something. It's got to be homemade or some kind of uh, day out. Like really? a meat park or something. Wow. So are you going to have, uh, like, uh, value limits or price limits or something like that? Uh, nothing that was really discussed, but I think, obviously, trying to spend as little as possible and trying to be as creative as possible, I guess. Wow. Yeah. So, how, yeah. how does everybody feel about that? Uh, well, the family's pretty much in agreement, and uh, I was relieved personally when I found out because I have a, several members in my family, and I was thinking about, I'm going to buy gifts for everybody. And when we had that meeting the other day, uh, I was stoked. I was happy. Look at you. All right, Adrian, thank you for that. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. James on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, how are you doing? Doing okay. Uh, I'm going to make it simple this year. Nothing for no one. Really? Nothing. Not even a Christmas tree, no deck, nothing. I mean, it's ridiculous. It, this year is really, it's, I mean, it's not as bad, but it's just, it's too much, pro, too, too, it's too many problems. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it, it, it's it's horrible. It, it's bad out there. So it's, uh, everybody knows it. I told everybody, I'm not getting anything for anybody this year, because I'm usually the one that buys everything. But I think a certain number of people, and I think you might be one of them. Uh, they find Christmas to be annoying anyway, having to buy yeah, gifts. Yeah, it's beginning And so it's a perfect a excuse to just not do it. Uh, but you are looking for an excuse, and now you have one. Exactly. That's exactly it. What? All right, Tom, take me out. Uh, 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 bong uh, uh, bong hit. Here we go. The- Alan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going? Doing great. Well, uh, I the last caller, you know, nothing on this end. No one gets anything. Uh, I bought myself a nice TV over the holiday break. That was uh, my little present to myself. Um, but other than that, I told everyone expect nothing, as do I. You know, I don't really want anything from anyone either. And uh, you, you know, don't? I'm 19. Why not? Yeah. I live on my own. You well, know, why wouldn't you want? Wait, why? I understand you not wanting to give gifts to others, but why would you tell people you don't want anything? To be honest, uh, you know, it's not always everything you want or you know anything necessary. It'll go on a shelf and sit somewhere. So, I think other people should save their money also. You know, well, maybe they should, but uh, it's okay with me if they buy me gifts. Yeah, that's true. I won't complain, you know. So Here's how it works. It, 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 I don't want to buy gifts for anybody, but if anyone wants to get me a gift, I'm all in favor. There you go. All right, Alan, thank you for that. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Rick on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? It's going okay, Rick. Well, you know, I'm 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 doing pretty good this year financially. Uh, my kids are 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 pretty. They're older teenagers, but they understand that uh, even though I'm doing pretty good, uh, we got to come back. Uh, it's all about saving money. The kids are going and starting college, and uh, but uh, they they know that uh, one nice gift, and besides that, uh, that's about it. And um, I get one little gift. The wife gets a nice gift, and that's about it. We're not going all out. So. so far, I haven't heard from one person saying everything's going to be the same this year. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to let this get in my way. Everybody is cutting back. Yeah, yeah. We we have to put a little bit of money away for the, the for the rainy days, you know. So, and you never know when that rainy day is going to come. And uh, like you said, you need to be have money in the bank. You never know what's going to happen. You could get sick or get laid off. Uh, so you have to be able to have money in the bank. Well, you know I agree with you, of course. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Chris on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What's going on, Tom? How, you, how are you, man? I'm doing okay, Chris. Yeah, I agree with the last uh, caller, too, man. I try to cut back this year, too. Just the immediate family from now on is uh, getting ridiculous. Prices are too high. Uh, 
gas is the only, about the only thing that's helping us right now, the gas prices. But other than that, dude, uh, it sucks out here. So it's just the immediate family now. <laughs> Does everyone else understand that you're not going to be giving them anything? Uh, everybody pretty much is doing the same thing in my family, at least. We just kind of like, you know, no more Christmas parties. Everybody's just staying at their house and doing their own thing. And, right. You know, that's just the way it is. The economy has it like that, man. Can't do anything else. Yep, you're right about that. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's Robert on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. What's up, Tom? Not much, Robert. Um, what we're doing is we're cutting back. Uh, we're doing like an exchange, but it's called a white elephant, I think. I was introduced to this a couple of years ago. You bring a generic gift, and then you know one person opens it, and anybody in the room can steal it. And if you steal one, you can't open one. And uh, we've had to set some restrictions because some jerks will bring like candles. Or like cans of sardines, junk like that. No one's gonna steal it. So you know, you, you anticipate the month, and you get stuck with like some crappy candle. Pretty bad. <laughs> so, so we'll put like a fifty dollar limit, and like I usually go for like the latest DVD, maybe some massage oils, or like uh, some good candy because the chicks love chocolate. And we have fun doing that, but uh, it, it all boils down to uh, cutting back. Yep, I'm, I, I'm hearing that. Well, I'm just amazed at the cutbacks I'm hearing here, too. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Kelly on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. How are you? I'm okay. We are shaving back, not necessarily cutting back this year. We've decided to do family gifts instead of individual gifts for our immediate relatives. We've got 15 nieces and nephews on one side, so it's easier just to do big family gifts. So what is it, everyone, everyone gets one iPhone? How is this going to work? <laughs> well, we pick themes. So we've got, um, like, dinner and movie passes for a family or some type of theme like that. I see. And then friends get baked goods and stuff from the heart, stuff that we make. Stuff from the heart. <laughs> yep. Well, that's a perfect excuse to get cheap stuff. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. We're trying to find out how people are cutting back in their holiday shopping. We keep hearing that uh, the retail business is suffering. Black Friday wasn't what they thought it was going to be. Predictions are we're going to be at the low end of projections for holiday spending, for retail sales. Try to find out how people are cutting back in this holiday season. Joe on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. How are you? I'm okay. Great. Uh, well, I'm not cutting back at all this year. Actually, um, I'm spending the same amount I probably did last year. I'm buying everyone something. Um, you know, I make the same amount of money as I did last year. And uh, gas prices going down has helped me a lot. So um, I don't see what the problem is. So you're not, worried, you're not worried about what might happen to you in 2009? No, no. Like that you might lose your job and maybe you should have a few bucks put away. Mm, no, maybe I should be concerned about that a little bit more, but no, I'm not Maybe really. so. Look around. Yeah, it's true. It's true. I, I just uh, don't think that uh, the industry that I'm in is going to be suffering um, as much as you know other industries might. Joe, thank you for that. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Let's say hello to Jay on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How you doing, Tom? I'm okay. All right, well, you know what? My mom is telling us to, to cut back, but uh, me and my brother and sister, we're going we're gonna to keep it the same. I don't think any of one of us wants to really cut back on anything. So you're not worried about uh, what might happen to your job in the next year or what might happen to your financial situation or anything like that? Well, you know, our whole family is involved in health care. Um, so for the most part, our job security is okay. Um I don't know what everybody's talking about, how prices are going up. I, for, to me, I think I've seen some pretty good sales because of the economy going down. Um, yeah, but, you know, our whole family, we just, you know, my mom, of course, is trying to think ahead, but her three kids were just like, no, like, why? We want to we wanna celebrate and we want to have good times. I mean, we don't do it every day, you know. It's not something you do all the time. It's just, it's just our family, so. I understand. Yeah. All right, Jay, thank you for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. How are you cutting back on holiday spending this year? Tom, 
like is. 1 800 5800 Tom. Tom like is. 1 800 5800 866. The Tom Likes Show. It's the Tom Likes Show. 1 800 5800 Tom. That's our telephone number. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are. With your phone calls, how are you cutting back for the holiday season? Are you cutting back on holiday spending? Do tell. It's John on the Top Like It Show. Hello. Yeah, hello. Yeah, hello. Hey, how's it going? Hey, oh. man. So, yeah, look, I'm from Boyle Heights. My name is Johnny. And this year, what I'm going to do, man, I'm just going to take out my mama, you know, show her a good time, take her out to eat, buy her whatever she wants. Like last year, it was all right, you know, like I bought gifts for everybody from my, my little brothers and all that, but nah, I can't this year. Not going to do it. Not nah, going to do it. Do they know it, it? Nah, they don't know it yet. I was going to buy them something nice, you know, like a Wii or a PlayStation 3 stuff, but nah, I can't this year. You uh, told them, and uh, you're not, you haven't told them. What are you going to say? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to tell them, you know. I know they're going to be heartbroken, but I, they got to understand, you know, it's hard. Yeah, hard for yeah. everybody. Did you lose your job this year? Nah, I haven't lost my job. Thank God. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I understand. Yeah, yeah. All right, John. Thank you for that. It's Alexandra on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. I love you, and I am driving on my cell phone without a headset. And the way that we're saving is my husband and I recently got married. Our in-laws can't stand me, and so we're not buying them gifts. Really? Really. Wow! Now, <laughs> yeah, did you, did you tell them? Very much. Uh, did you tell them that? Um, no. Why should I? They don't contact us. They don't talk to us. Wow! If they see me on the street, we ignore each other. Look at you! <laughs> what can I say? If now, you don't now, want now to... can I ask you a question? It's 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 on your topic. It's not on our topic. How do you marry somebody if the in laws hate you? You understand the in laws are a package deal. Right. I told we did get along at first. Um, the problem started with the planning of the wedding. They didn't agree with things were done, even though they didn't put a dime into it. But what can you do? What was it they didn't agree? Now I have to know. What, what did they not agree with? <laughs> oh, that's that would be a whole new show, Tom. Boil it down, dear. Um, the way that things were planned, dates that were selected, um, you name it, they disagreed with it. They never bothered to tell us. They just talked behind our backs. So and they they also hate your husband. Um. Well, I don't know if they hate him. I mean, that's up to them. Between uh, them and I, you know, it's whatever they want to do. If they wanted to re, re, you know, reconcile the relationship, I mean, I'd be willing to do that. But you know, it's on their hands, not mine. But they hate you and not him. You know what? I it goes back and forth. I see. <laughs> so, but yeah, I'm saving Jesus. a lot of money because it's a big family on that side. Well, I'll bet you are. Nicole on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Nicole. I am totally erasing Christmas from my year this year. The only one who's getting anything is my daughter. Oh boy. I, it's, I can't. I can afford it, but I would like to save some money because I just I don't know what's coming next year. None of us knows what's coming next year. I may be broke next year. <laughs> we may all be broke next year. <laughs> all right, Tom, blow me up. Here you go, dear. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's our telephone number. How are you cutting back on your holiday shopping this year? Samantha on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi, Samantha. Hey, I did the ultimate cutback. I married a Jehovah's Witness. That's <laughs> one way to say about holiday shopping. <laughs> <laughs> right. But don't you have to become a Jehovah's Witness? You don't have to. You know, that, aren't you supposed to be a pariah or do the family doesn't talk to him anymore or something like that? Um, I'm his worldly pagan bad girl. <laughs> and the family's okay with that? Not at all, but that's even the best part too. Oh boy! Well, five years from now, <laughs> when he uh, when he makes you a pariah because he decides to return to his family roots. 
we won't let that happen. We're saving all our money so we can vacation away from them by then. Uh, <laughs> I did just better not be any uh, chrome on the trailer hitches at your home. That's all I can suggest. <laughs> hey, Tom, I love you. Can you take me out tribal style? Yes, Samantha, I certainly can. Bye, 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 One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom. Here comes Misty on the Tom Liga show. Hello. Hello. Yes. We are cutting back from about thirty-two people last year down to just our three kids and one family gift at our at our Christmas party. And that's it. Is that so? Yep. Wow. And uh, is that because you lost a job, or uh, your husband lost a job, or what? Oh, I'm part-time at the post office, and I'm guaranteed one day, so I'm about down to one day, and my husband's uh, company, we really don't know what's going on with them, but they've cut everybody down to 40 hours. So. And who knows what's going to happen next year. That's right. We well. think we're going to wake up tomorrow, and the gas will be back up, so we can't rely on low gas prices right now. I completely understand, Miss C. I thank you for that. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, Eric on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom. Hey. Uh, I was calling because I was just going to say I'm actually going to try to do a little bit extra this year and help my friends out. Really? Yes, sir. And how are you able to do that? I'm in the oil field business. There we go. <laughs> I'll bet you can't afford to help out. Well. <laughs> I, it's it's not that I'm trying to get extravagant or brag or anything like that. I just know that they're working for the automotive companies and they're tightening their belts, and I'm real close with my friends. Their kids are like my kids, so I just figured I'd try to help them out. So make it, sure it's, now this is not a, this is not a matter of guilt, is it? No, <laughs> not at all, not at all. <laughs> I just, and I just I just don't want to see. Like I said, I consider them my brothers and sisters, and I don't want to see. Um, uh, their kids, I consider them my nieces and nephews. I don't want to see them not get anything. Can't, can't do that. I understand. Eric, thank you for that. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. How are you cutting back on holiday spending this year? Let me say hello here to Sam on the Tom Likas show. How you doing, Tom? First time caller. Good to hear your voice, doctor. How you doing, Sam? All right, sir. I got my biggest present this year. My, my divorce got finalized. That's a, that's the biggest. What was that old uh, story? The greatest gift of all. <laughs> yeah, yep. Yeah. I got my gift and I erased everybody from the list this year. And whenever I mention that, and like nobody's uh, reacting, like you know, they already know what the economy is going through, and <laughs> someone's kind of shocked, you know. I understand. All right, Keith. Everything going okay? And uh, blow me off, uh, Kobe style. I'll blow you off, Kobe style, Chief. Here you go. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. Yeah, it beats in my heart. Oh. Yeah, the air I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. It's one eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, it's our telephone number. Here's Pat on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Tom, how you doing? I'm okay. Well, I figure I buy gifts for everybody all year round. I'm not big on buying gifts for Christmas because, uh, you know. Not everybody gets everything they want. So I figure, you know, you see something, you buy it for somebody, you know, no harm, no foul. So then, uh, you know, and the thing is, the economy's all real bad and stuff. Everybody's talking about it. But isn't that the biggest problem? Everybody's all scared to buy stuff. So, yeah, well, everybody's afraid to buy stuff because they're afraid they won't have a job next year. Yeah, I know. But what happens when people stop buying stuff? Then definitely not going to have a job. So I figure you can't be too afraid. You're seeing the best deals you're ever going to see in your entire lifetime. Everybody's cutting back. Cars are getting cheaper. Gas is getting cheaper. Figure you might as well live just a little bit because you'll never see it again. Well, me, I'm buying selectively. I will say that I've made many cutbacks, many, and not just big cutbacks either, small cutbacks. But I, what I will say is that uh, <laughs> this is the best time ever to buy a car, to buy a house. If you have the money to do those things... This is the best possible time you could do them. Oh, yeah. I'm definitely, I never thought in my lifetime watching the price of houses go up that I'd ever, ever be able to buy one until watching them soar to the bottom. 
So, hey, what well, you know, it could be bad for other people, but for other people, it could be great. And for me, you know, it it may be bad for a lot of people, but it's probably the first time I'm ever going to the house of my life. I understand. Pat, thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Casey on the Tom Likas Show. Hello, Casey. How you doing, Tom? Great. Good. Um, I just bought my first home, and I'm now actually, for the first time, really feeling the spirit of the season and wanting to give, but also wanting to be cautious. I am making, I want to make charitable donations in people's names so that, A, it spreads that spirit. B, I'm getting them something. C, I'm feeling better about the money I spend. And D, I write it off. Look at you. Yeah, so I recommend that to everyone listening. Very nice. And uh, what kind of charities are you contributing to, if I may ask? Um, uh, for my mom, I'll probably do like uh, children's uh, children's cancer. Um, for most people, I'll probably do hunger and poverty. Uh, I haven't looked into specific uh, specific charities yet, but um, I'm just kind of uh, trying to decide which uh, type of charities to do for each because uh, everybody has different charities of choice. No doubt about it, Casey. Thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's our telephone number. Here's Bart on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. What's up, Tom? Not much, Bart. How's it going? Great. Man, I, I'm spending it all this year, Tom. I've already got the plasma. Uh, the kids are getting all kinds of toys. I'm not holding back a bit. You know, if I lose my job... I'll just find another one. I was, I was looking for a job last time, uh, you know, I found this one. And, uh, you know, I'm not scared to hustle any way I got to to make the ends meet. I'm not going, I'm not going to let the kids sacrifice. Now, let me ask you this question. I, I, I understand about finding new jobs, and I've never really worried much about that in my business. I've always found another job. People are always paranoid about losing their job. I've never been paranoid about it. But I don't know if you've looked at the newspapers or looked at the unemployment figures. Finding another job right now is a lot harder than it was six months ago. A lot harder. You're not yeah, concerned? Yeah. Not really. Not really. I've never had a hard time finding a job. I mean, I don't know what it is, but I've done. I've worked in a lot of different industries, and I've got a little side business that I do for cash. And uh, just, uh, I don't know. I work in the oil field right now, so I'm sure it's coming. As soon as, uh, you know, everything kicks in, they start, you know, stacking these rigs out. I'm sure I might very well be looking for a job. Well, but, the price of a barrel of oil today was down like 10%. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's it's, it's going down. It's, uh, it's definitely uh, not what it was a year ago, for sure, or even three months ago. But at the same time... Um, you know, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep on, keep on grinding, and uh, you know, if, if it if it happens, then I'm just gonna deal with it then. All right, Bart, thank you so much for the call. How are you cutting back on spending during this holiday season? Tom, like it. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. One eight hundred five eight hundred eight six six. The Tom Likas Show. Tom Likas Show at 1-800-5800-TOM. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of the program. The Tom Likas Show. Shorter commercial breaks. We take the calls faster. And now, here in Los Angeles, the Tom Likas Show, six days a week. Six days a week. Here are Saturdays from 2 until 6 on 97.1 FM Tonk. Every Saturday, 2 to 6 p.m. Oh, yeah. Six days a week. It's more than you can take. That's right. one 800 800 tom How are you cutting back in your holiday spending? Emily on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it hey. going? Going okay. Okay, so um, I did this last year, too. I didn't buy anything for my family or my friends. Um, no one in my family or my friends actually need anything at all. Like, my nephews don't need a video game and a... There are kids in my, my town that actually need shoes. So I just buy, like, shoes and backpacks and stuff like that, and then I go donate them. Really? So you're all about the charity now? Yeah, well, it's like, you know, 
my family, my mom doesn't need a candle, you know. No one needs anything in my family or my friends, thank God. And uh, it's just, it's, it's a stressful holiday. People lose sight of what it's actually about. And I, I'm not even a Christian, so, I mean, there's no, I don't need anything. I've worked my entire life. I buy my own things for myself. I don't expect anything from anyone on Christmas. Look at you. <laughs> By the way, I just want everybody to know, I understand times are tough. And I know you're going to have to cut back. Uh, and uh, I'm very sorry that all the other people you know in your life are going to be getting less. But I just want you to know I'm expecting to get the exact same level of gift that I'm accustomed to. <laughs> just want to make that clear. Um, and I understand it'll be a sacrifice. or Some will have to uh, give up on what they're expecting. But they'll, 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 they'll get by. They'll live. All right, thank you, Tom. You're funny as heck. Thank you. Twenty eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom, that's our telephone number. David on the Tom like his show. Hello, Father. Son, I want to speak with you. I know. Check it out. About two weeks ago, I find my wife's phone. I find out she's cheating on me, so I dump that bitch. And guess what? She's got. A ton of people in her family. She doesn't work. I support her. And we usually always get everybody in her family gifts. This year, nope. That's it. <laughs> That's one way to save is if you're married to a cheating bitch. That's it, man. What else can I tell you? I guess you don't have to tell me anything else. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Chuck on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Chuck. Hey, how's it going? Okay. Hey, uh, so, well, my wife and I do. My wife's a teacher, and I'm a struggling musician. I play in a band and uh, tour a lot, so we don't have a lot of money. So what we've done is uh, we make a list of all the people, family, friends, that we want to buy presents for, that we'd like to give presents to. And uh, we will actually just go out and um, spend a few hours just buying maybe a 10 or $15 gift card for each person to a place that we know they like. And uh, that way you don't break the bank. I mean, we, we spend maybe 200 bucks overall. And, uh, you know, we get to give everybody something. And, and you know, I mean, because it's about the thought, you know, it's a thought that counts. So Now, you know, could, the reason, could the reason you'll be struggling is because you're already married at 22? No, actually, actually, I'm. We're actually struggling less because we share rent and and we don't have to pay as many bills now as two separate people. Like, what bills are you saving on? Well, instead of renting out two separate apartments or something like that, we rent one apartment. Um, you know, well, I already own a car, and we, you know, we share the rent on on uh, or not the rent, the uh, payments on the other car. I mean, it, it, I I was no more broke before than I was now. In fact, I'm less broke now than I used to be, so. Mm. Just checking, Chuck. Rochelle on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Um, I'm calling. I'm just letting you know what I'm cutting back on. I was a person every year that All right. bought the big gifts, spent the $600 gifts for everybody. All the friends' kids, everybody's kids got nice Nice newest games. Now this year, I'm begging for gifts. Um, my gift that I require from everybody is uh, supermarket gift cards. So that I could just make it by. I'm laid off, so not working. So everyone's understanding. You know, people are more willing to give food gift cards than you know, regular gifts. Something I don't need. Oh, look at that. How about just cashola? <laughs> yeah. Just a little cash. Yeah. So, uh, cash gift cards and food. Wow. And go a little longer than someone handing you 20 bucks. I guess that's right. 1-800-5800-TOM. How are you cutting back on your Christmas shopping this year? Christmas buying, specifically. Let's say hello here to Patty on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, Pat, um, hey Tom. I'm so nervous. Long time listener. First time caller. Yes. I want to say, also, okay, the subject is what I'm spending on Christmas. I'm not buying anybody anything. Well, isn't that nice? No, and the only reason why is because I take care of so many people. Take care of so many people. I want to, but I can't. You want to buy the gifts, but you can't. Now, have you told them all they're not getting anything? 
No, I haven't told them all, but they know. Yeah, see, if you tell them in advance, then they won't get you anything. So the trick it's okay. is, it's okay. just I don't, really don't care tell about them. Getting anything. Really? Yeah, I really don't. As long as you know, they know I love them. But, but I do want to get them something, but I can't. What is that? I'm not even buying me anything. You'd rather get them something than have them get you something? No, I don't care about that. As what? long as you know, they know I love them. All right. What? So what? I'm happy. Okay. Tom, I just want to say I love you so much. Look at you. Me, please, can you take me out, Kobe style? <laughs> yes, I can. Oh. Oh. This is about us. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. You're a beast in my heart. Oh. You're there, I breathe. Oh. She's so special to me. Oh. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. During this holiday season, where everybody is cutting back, have you cut back on your holiday shopping? Mark of the Tom Likas Show. Hello. How you doing? Great. I'm cutting back by divorcing my wife earlier this year. Very nice. So uh, you're saving a fortune on Christmas. No, actually, I'm not because I'm paying off bills that she got me into. Oh, boy. And you got married why again? I was good. I thought I loved her. We had a lot of things in common. And I guess I didn't work in the big, 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 big picture because she tried to get, get me kicked out of the Navy, and I've got six months till I retire. Mm, good work. So, she's gone. <laughs> Very nice. Are you still in the Navy? Yes, I am. All right, for another few months. Uh, July is my final retirement date. Look at you. Hi, Mark. Nice Christmas gift to yourself, a divorce. More people ought to think like that. Our email address is my name. It's Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. Tom at BlowMeUpTom.com. You can also visit our website and hear our show streaming live. Go to blowmeuptom.com. Click on the Listen Live button between 3 and 8 p.m. Pacific time. There you go. It's the Tom Likas Show.